Hello, this is the Jurassic Expert here with another episode. Uh, it's been a while since I put up another video. And yeah, so today I'm going over the Pteranodon Tyran helicopter attack set. Or, I I've had this for quite a while, for the past couple of months. And yeah, I actually got this before Walmart put it online because this was back when I thought that the Destructosaurs line was done. And I panicked, I knew I really wanted this pack, so I got it for a very overpriced price on eBay, and I had to get it shipped from Mexico, and in the end it came later than when they were actually put on Walmart.com. So yeah, um, so let's go, let's just dive in with the human figure that we get, the AC Trooper. Uh, mine has a defect on the face where it kind of looks like somebody's uh, pushed his face against like a window or something. So it's a little weird to look at him sometimes with that little defect, but it, when he's in the helicopter you barely notice and you don't really notice even from like that distance. You kind of have to look up close at them to see that but yeah other than that the sculpt is great they got a lot of the detail and the wrinkle and everything the wrinkles and everything they even got the things on the helmet so yeah and they got like a little Jurassic World logo there and yeah let's go over the articulation which I forgot to do with Ian Malcolm so he kicks it his leg out that far in that much, about that much, back that much, and pins that part of the leg in that much. Can't spin all the way around. Don't really know why you'd want to do that. It's the same with both arm, with both legs. I mean, arm goes out that much, in that much. It can go full 360, bend the arm in that much, bend it out that much, and it also can move all around in that is the same articulation in both arms. The head can pretty much go up that much, down that much. Yeah, that's as far as you're going to be able to turn it, his head. And there you go, there's that side of the head as well. And yeah. Um, Oh yeah, you also get a swivel, that's about as far as you'll be able to turn that way, and that's about as far as you'd be able to turn that way. But yeah, that figure is really good, except for my little defect on the face. I'm kind of annoyed with that, especially because I did pay quite a bit for this. Um, and I got it earlier, and yeah. Just a lot of things I'm regretting with getting it earlier than when it was actually put on Walmart.com. I could have gotten it for a lower price and everything. But yeah, aside from that, I am glad to have this in my collection. Uh, let's go over the sculpt of the Pteranodon. Sorry, I won't be able to get everything in shot because everything is quite big. So the Pteranodon, the sculpt looks pretty nice. They got all the folds and wrinkles in the skin. They got like kind of a vein textured look in the wings and everything. So. And the paint also looks pretty nice. It kind of looks almost metallic. On the eye, they did a good job on the eye. Uh, and there's this nice pattern on the wing. And there's a little bit brown at the feet. There's no paint underneath, but there is the coat of Bill Focus. Wait, hold on, let me get that in closer. Hopefully that'll be good. So, yeah, this and let's go over articulation. So the mouth can open that wide. Do not know why you'd want to open it that way. Actually, I do know why. The head can turn all the way around. Don't really know why you'd want to do that. And the articulation in the neck, very good. Uh, this is pretty much a redo of the, it's a repaint of the, um, the, the, uh, the electronic 
It's rained on what I forgot what those are called um, at the moment. Uh, I'll remember them later, hopefully. And except this does not have sun. You see that button there? You press that, and the wings go up. And I almost forgot there's articulation in the wing. You could get uh, pretty much bend in the wing that much like that, and bend the wing out that much like that. Again, don't really know why you'd want to do that, uh, but I do kind of like when I'm positioning it, if I'm having it diving or something like that. But yeah, so that's the Pteranodon, and let's go over the helicopter that comes with this. So the sculpt on this actually looks pretty nice. They got little scratches and dents in it on there. And yeah, so this actually looks pretty nice. Um, kind of wish there was a little bit more detail in the paint, but they were supposed to make a helicopter thing. I'm just glad that they made one like this because it looks pretty nice and I will go over the action features with this now before going on to the inside and also yeah, the there. So you have this little crane thing that stands about that far. So I mean that's pretty far. So you could have the figure hang on to either the bars here or just rip onto the hook area and then there's a little crank I don't know how well you could see that it's too dark but yeah you can pretty much crank that up and brings a little crank up and you got all these pegs to put multiple figures on and also you have this button which allows you to spin the propeller and yeah once in a while if you can't exactly constantly do it or else it kind of snaps in a way it doesn't break it it just instantly stops and it's a little shocking when it does happen and but the cool part about this is there's a little magnet on the inside of the mouth and there's these little buttons here and you do that, that falls off, and if I could get this on camera, you do that, and then that comes off. So yeah, and then you could see some of the lovely detail in the wing. You got these irons and everything, and yeah. On the inside, you can actually only sit one figure here, even though there are three seats. You can only sit one figure right there. And the weird thing is, so you sit them in here, the handle is, give me one moment. It just, yeah, this is another thing. It's really hard to get this in there, especially when you're doing this on camera. So. Pretty much with, like all of the other Jurassic World vehicles, you have this little clip and you get in there, but the arms can actually not reach out to the um, handlebar. Oh yeah, and the first time I'm actually noticing there's a little bit of paint there, or not paint, there's like a sticker, so I need more detail. But yeah, I do kind of wish you could fit in other figures and I've tried to fit and other figures, it's just not possible. And yeah, to put this back on, all you need to do is kind of slide this tab in, these two tabs in, and then you just press down and it's there. You don't really hear a click or anything. Same thing with this, you just kind of slide that there, and there you go. And this actually does not move, so, but yeah, they have like a little camera or something. I don't know what that is. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool little set. 
Uh, and I do recommend if you are able to get this to pick this up and hopefully you'll have better luck with your ACU pilot than I did. And actually I gotta take this apart again. <laughs> I just forgot I needed to do size comparison. Hang on. One moment. There we go. And I'm just going to leave that open. There we go. So we'll do size comparison with human with humans first. So there's the mercenary. At first he actually seems bigger than the other figures, but Actually, he's a little bit bigger. So there he is next to the, um, next to the mercenary. And here he is next to a standard attack pack blue. And to compare to randoms now, so you got this one and I've brought the Roarivores. That's what they were called, the Roarivores, right? So there it is next to the other Pteranodon that we got with the Roar of Wars. You can see that there are differences in paint, but the main big differences other than paint is that this has uh, sounds and everything, and this does not. So, yeah. And to compare the size of the helicopter with this, um, here it is next to the Mercenary again. And here it is next to blue. Just to give you a good size, I'd say that's about a decent size for a helicopter, for like a small helicopter. If I could get that more so in shot. So yeah, you could have any of the characters sitting there. Um, I just mainly like having the ACU troop sitting there. And yeah, I guess that's it for the review. Hopefully I'll be able to put something up uh, again this week, um, I have something coming in the mail, so yeah, I'll show that off, and I got a couple of cool things for Halloween as well, that w I just found online, or it, and those are pretty cool, I might bring, I might, uh, do a review on those, so yeah, um, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Click the notification bell and to get notified whenever I put up new videos. And as always, dinosaurs might be older than you, but you are never too old for dinosaurs. Bye-bye.